Hello and welcome to episode two of our Unit 4 Financials Feature Spotlight series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the Homepage Portal. For this demo, we're using Financials 2020, but the Homepage Portal is also available on version 12, version 13 and version 14. As with everything in Financials, you start with a blank canvas and you define how you want your homepage to look. What is the homepage? It is the front end to your data and applications that you use on a regular basis. The homepage is user definable, so you can have several views for different sets of people if required. Unfortunately, the masters behind the homepage portal cannot be defined by a company. So, let us log on and look at a homepage. As a user, if you have been allocated a homepage portal, this will be your default screen when you log on to the system. This is attached via your user master, and we will have a look at that a bit later. You'll see here that we have several pages. These are your tabs, finance and assets, purchasing invoice matching and billing. You define these yourselves. Below that, we have what we call the frames. And again, you decide what frames you want. And underneath that, you have what we call the content providers. If you do not have a homepage portal, you'll just have the main menu. What we're going to do here is a search just using the main menu. And then we're going to repeat the same search using the homepage portal. And you'll see how much quicker it is for your users. So we're going to go to financials. We're going to go to browse details. Going to select a selector and a presenter. And then explode. Select company, year period and document code and complete your search and your data is presented. We can come out of there and we're going to go to homepage portal and we're going to repeat the same search. So we're going to go to inquiries, browse details. You'll then see you do not have to use your selectors and your presenters. It automatically takes you to the browse detail prompt screen. So repeat the search and you can immediately see how much quicker it is for your users by having a home screen portal set up. We can go one stage further. If I click here on bank reconciliations and select to browse this bank statement, it automatically takes me straight into the bank statement. I do not have to tell it what account number I want or anything, which makes it so much easier and quicker. I'm now going to log off and I'm going to change the portal so you can see some other portals that we have set up. You'll see that we now have a slightly smaller portal, which is tailored to the accounts payables team. On here, we have just got one tab, three frames and several content providers. We hope that you have found this short video useful and that it's just given you some ideas on how the homepage portal can make your users' lives easier and speed up your processes. Your system administrators should be able to set up a homepage portal for you and they will have the access to the masters. Before you can start to set up a homepage portal, we recommend that you have a sketch map of the way that you want the menus to be displayed and the content. We are just going to briefly look at the masters and they are found in the main menu. In administration portal, the first one is homepage users. And this is a useful tool for you to be able to check all your different users and what they are attached to in relation to a portal. The next master is content providers. Now this is very important that you set up your content providers before you try to set up a template. The one I'm showing you here is a general inquiry and you'll see down in the display that we have a number of reports, general supplier inquiry, supplier items, report supplier ledger, ledger maintenance, they've all been added in here. And you can do that by clicking on create. If you want to move things around, then you use the move up or the move down. If you do not like something, you can cut it out. Or if you're amending a content provider, you'll use the update button. Lastly, you have got the homepage template. Obviously, you give your template a name, you would add your content providers, you cannot remove them once they've been added, but you can add additional content providers. And then you come down to your design. So first, you start off by deciding your pages. 
Then you would look at your frames and below that the content providers and what you want to include in there. And that concludes our short video for you today. I hope you found it useful. You can watch more of our Unit 4 Financial Spotlight series on our YouTube channel. Here at Millennium Consulting, we provide dedicated support for your business. Our team of consultant-grade application and technical experts provide you with a wealth of experience in supporting mission-critical systems. We monitor and manage your solutions so you do not have to, allowing you to focus on growing your business. Contact us for further details by visiting our website, millenniumconsulting.com. Thank you.